All right, guys, before we jump into the video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Fade Me brand, the merch here that we have on the channel. If you do want to help us grow and support us, consider heading over to FadeMe.store, pick up some awesome merch. We'll give you a discount code. Use code FADE for 10% off. Check it out, FadeMe.store. Now let's get into the video. All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Week number two, Sunday night football between the Patriots and the Dolphins. We have four picks on this game, one game pick, and then three player props I'm going to throw your way, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. You guys have been crushing the liking and commenting and subscribing, and I cannot thank you enough. We're almost at 30,000 30, subscribers. Are you kidding me? That's why we're pumping in some crowd noise to celebrate. We're going to hit 30,000, then we're going to keep on chugging along. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support as of late. Like I said, we got four picks in this game. Before we do jump into it, I want to talk to you guys about Sleeper. If you haven't checked out Sleeper yet, you're missing out. You're probably asleep. Wake up. Go check out Sleeper. They have a free promo square right now. They've knocked Tyreek Hill's receiving yards line down from 81 and a half all the way down to .5, I think. I think he's going to get more than 0.5 receiving yards in uh, in the uh, in the game here. But, uh, guys, if you don't know what Sleeper is, all you got to do is pair two to eight player props in a slip together. Obviously, the more you get correct, the more you get paid out. And you get 100% of your first deposit matched if you use my link in the pinned comment. I really, really have been loving Sleeper. They're a little bit different than all the other pick apps out there because each payout is dynamic. It's unique. And you can win up to 100 times over on Sleeper. So they don't follow that fixed payout structure. Like two for two is three times. No, no, no. Everything is unique here. I think Tyreek. Tyreek Hill's multiplier is like 1.77x um, for his new line at 0.5. So really good deal. Go check it out. Link in the pinned comment. You can also just sign up using code GuyBoston. G-U-I-B-O-S-T-O and spelling bee champ. Now let's try and be a game picks champion. We're jumping in. And right now, Patriots sitting at dogs at home. Plus three is the spread. Total sitting at 46 and a half. We're not looking at the spread or the total in terms of my game pick. I'm looking at a money line play here. And maybe it's the Boston bias here. I'm looking at Patriots on the money line for a couple different reasons. One, I do think it obviously you have a divisional game here. We've seen plenty of close games over the years between these two teams. Um, Patriots edging it out last time on New Year's Day, winning 23 to 21. Um, and we've seen, you know, Miami last week have that huge week in terms of points scored and offense and all that. But what was missing in that game against the Chargers? defense and the Patriots defense didn't look all that bad against the Eagles so I do think that there is a huge mismatch here when it comes to um, you know the defensive edge in this game and again it's that divisional game it's gonna be a grit game it's gonna be a tough game I think they're gonna have to win it in the trenches and I think the Patriots actually have the team to do so now don't get it twisted Miami by far the more explosive team with Tyreek Hill, Tua, um, Jalen Waddle as well. Like I understand that the speeds, uh, the speed from the running backs, like I understand that they're more explosive, but I don't necessarily know if that's going to be the type of game. We're not going to see another Do um, Dolphins versus Chargers game like we saw in week number one. No, I think it's going to be a little bit slower paced. I don't necessarily think it's going to be a huge under cash or otherwise I'd be looking at the under in this spot. I'm kind of staying away from the total because we did see the Dolphins put up a lot of points. So I'm not going to say that they're not going to do it again. I just think it's a little bit more difficult against the Patriots than that Chargers defense in which they threw all over them. So give me the Patriots on the money line right now. Plus 136 are the odds we're getting there, which we will take. And maybe it's a little biased. Maybe I should be taking the points because that plus three is obviously a really good line in football. And even some sports books are down to uh, two and a half, which it's plus three on FanDuel right right now. Uh, maybe I should be doing that. Maybe I'm getting greedy. This may be a half unit play depending on, um, you know, where we want to pull the trigger and where we end up. So keep an eye on the pinned comment to see if it's a full unit play or a half unit play. But I do like my three player props a lot more than I do the Patriots on the money line. I just think it's going to be a close game. Primetime Patriots at home after a loss playing against a team that, you know, Bill Belichick should be able to scheme out of those huge, 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 huge plays. All right. Um, let's move on to the player props here. And uh, we're looking at a, uh, <laughs> a player prop that kind of goes against directly what I just said in terms of those huge, huge plays. But we are looking at Tua Tungavailoa, his longest completion over 38 and a half years. Done it in five straight games. Did it last week against the Chargers. No surprise there, right? And even last year, did it in his one game against the Patriots at a 42-yard reception. This Patriots defense is good, but there's no one that's as good as Tyreek Hill. And you know what? 
Jalen Waddle's capable of this as well. In fact, a little interesting thing here would be that Tyreek Hill's line is only at like 27 and a half, um, meaning that, you know, Tua's obviously got more options to throw to and whatnot, but there could be some value there because I think if this hits, this, you know, over 38 and a half, I think it's probably going to be to Tyreek, or at least the odds are. And you can see the best odds right now over on FanDuel at minus 114. That is player prop number one. And then in terms of my next two player props here, we're looking at Ezekiel Elliott scoring a touchdown here for plus 270. You know, a couple things that I'm thinking behind this pick and then the next one, I'll kind of group them together. But look at this value here. FanDuel plus 180, BetMGM plus 130, DraftKings plus 270. If you're watching this and you still have this line, Get out your hammer and hammer it because that is just value out the wazoo. It's doubled the odds here of BetMGM. And then the next one is Ramondre Stevenson also scoring a touchdown. BetMGM at minus 105. We're getting value on FanDuel as well at plus 110. But the reason I'm taking both of these running backs to score, um, and you know, if even if one of them scores, the other one doesn't, there's enough uh, you know odds there to kind of pay for the other one. So we're hoping at least just one of these guys uh, puts one in the end zone. But this Miami team last week, yikes. They left two touchdowns to the running backs of the Chargers. Josh Kelly went off. He had 16 for 91, 5.7 yards per carry. And then obviously, you know, Austin Eckler went off, right? Also 16 carries, 117 yards, 7.3 yards per carry here. This is not a Miami defense that can stop the run. I'm not afraid of it whatsoever. And you might be thinking, oh, well, you're talking run. Why aren't you taking their over in yards? Because their red zone efficiency last season was god awful as well. Bottom 10 team in terms of red zone efficiency. I do see the Patriots being able to punch one and if they even get within the red zone here and I think they're going to get back to the run game the run game didn't look all that good in game uh, number one against the Eagles, right? It didn't. And I think Mac Jones had to air the ball out. They had to play catch up. It looked okay. Mac Jones looked good, but that's not Patriots football. And that's not how the Patriots want to play football, right? They brought in Zeke for a reason. Ramondi Stevens, an absolute stud. Those are the, you know, the two-headed dragon of your team. The Patriots are going to get back to that this week. And the more carries they get, the more chances we see for a touchdown. So it'd be great if both these guys punch one in because we'd be positive on the week regardless of our other two plays on the game. But even if one of these guys punches in, I'm hoping it's Zeke for those plus 270 odds but even if one of these guys punches it in it covers up if the other one doesn't so i like the spot here against a very run weak miami defense actually just a weak defense overall but certainly a weak run defense so those are the four picks to recap we're looking at the patriots on the money line plus 136 then we're looking at two as longest completion over 38 and a half minus 114 and then we're looking at ezekiel elliott and Ramondre stevenson both to get a touchdown if you guys want to check out the website that i just showed and shared screen there that is called outlier i'll have a link in the pin comment for that as well my favorite sports betting research tool especially for player props so make sure to check it out i have a link in the pin comment seven days free and uh yeah that's gonna be a wrap for today's video if you did enjoy and if you made it to the end of the video go ahead and drop a seven in the comments lucky number seven lets me know uh you know if you're a real one or if you're one of the people that just you know tune out after two seconds and say, I hate this guy, he's annoying. But uh, yeah, drop a seven in the comment if you are hearing this now. And best of luck on all of your Sunday night games, guys. We'll have two separate videos for the two different Monday night football videos coming out, uh, Monday night football games videos coming out as well. So very excited for that. But yeah, let's go ahead and cash this weekend. I might be a psycho for taking the Patriots on the money line, but uh, at some point your bias comes out, right? Love the player props though. We'll catch you guys in the next video, all right? Peace out.